Action Milton unveiled their new banner on July 21st, officially kicking off a rally to demand that Premier Doug Ford keep his promise to stop the development of a new quarry. The proposed quarry is here on Twist Road and Reed Side Road in Campbellville, and the promise Action Milton is talking about is one the Premier himself made a year ago. You aren't going to put something in that the whole community is dead against. It's very simple. I know the mayor, you don't want it. No one wants it. I don't want it. We're going to make sure it doesn't happen one way or another. George Minikakis is the chair of Action Milton. He says they are tired of waiting and have requested the government issue a ministerial zoning order that could stop this quarry. We're not sure what tools are the right ones to, to, to end this. We've been told the ministerial zoning order is the right one. We received a letter from Parham Gill that uh, a MZO would be reckless and dangerous, but we're saying, look, it's, enough is enough. You know, why drag the community through all of this? Why force us to raise a lot of money? Why take more time for something when you don't need to? And I think that this is the right thing to do. Now back in January, Milton MPP Parm Gill announced a request for an environmental assessment has been filed with the Ministry of Environment. Gill says although he wishes the applicant, James Dick Construction Limited, would voluntarily withdraw the application, it's not in the best interest of taxpayers for the government to interfere with the process with things like an MZO. I will not do that. We've seen where the previous liberal government tried to interfere and tried to circumvent the system. We saw the situation with the gas plant. We saw the situation previously even with another Corey application where ultimately the government ended up being sued and taxpayers were on the hook in the situation of a gas plant, uh, you know, billions of dollars. And in the other Corey application, I believe it was in a tune of $15 million. And I've been very clear with the members of the committee that we will not do anything that gets us there, where it puts the taxpayers at disadvantage and ultimately have to pay the price. We have a process that we have to follow. We have to respect that. And I understand it's frustrating and I understand it's taking long and I am just as frustrated as everybody else. So, um, you know, let, let's hope that, you know, we're able to get some results and get the EA launched uh, in, in, in the very near future and get the results that the community is looking for. Along with the new banner, the goal of the rally was to personally hand in a petition to MPP Gill's office with over a thousand signatures opposing the quarry. But with a growing community like Milton, the need for aggregate continues. So why is this quarry not welcome? Minikakis says one of the major reasons is that it'll be disruptive to the surrounding neighborhoods. You wouldn't allow a quarry um, a kilometer away from a school or a kilometer away from a hospital, or a kilometer away from a long-term care facility. You wouldn't do it. So why would you allow for this to happen within a kilometer of residence? And in some cases, hundreds of meters away from some residents who live around this land. Now that the petition has been handed over, MPP Gill is planning to bring it to the legislature once it's back in session in September. For Halton News, I'm Melissa Candelaria.